In this section, we're going to talk about what is a function. Before we do that, it is very important that we cultivate mathematical playing. So we would like you to think about two questions. What does the word function mean to you? And then can you give an example on how you would use that word function in your life scenario or an example from your personal life? It is very possible that as soon as we ask you to think about something, we're trying to cultivate critical thinking abilities of yours, and you might be tempted to say, I don't know. But it's important to remember that some discomfort that you feel is natural part of learning. And if you, the more you spend time thinking about something and creating this discomfort, the more your brain will grow. So it's no problem to feel, I don't know, but let your brain do its job. So try and do spend time thinking about questions that we will ask you to think about from time to time. It is OK to feel that you are being judged when you are trying something new and you make mistakes. But remember, there is no right or wrong answer when you are actually just thinking and nobody has taught you anything yet. So. It's perfectly OK to feel judged. But remember, we are trying to cultivate an environment where you don't judge yourself. And you also need to know that nobody is judging you. To help you, you can use mindfulness practices like three breath practice we've talked about, sit in a dignified posture when you are learning or when you are actually want to think about something, feet on the ground, slow, soft, inhale, slow, soft, exhale. You can also practice loving kindness. That practice, over and over repetition of it, will allow you to be in a space where you do not feel judged by other people. You're more willing to try thinking. In this loving kindness practice, just a quick reminder, you say five things to yourself. May I be filled with loving kindness. May I be well. May I be peaceful and at ease. May I be happy. All right, so go ahead, pause the video, and think about what does the word function mean to you and how you could use it in a personal experience or a life scenario. Go ahead. Good. Lots of examples are being generated here. Somebody said, sales dictate how much profit a company makes. Somebody talked about, depending on what your bill is at a restaurant, will dictate how much you tip your waiter or waitress. Somebody said how heart rate is a function of exercise. That's awesome. They're using a life scenario and using the word function in it. You can see that for exercise, your heart rate needs to go up a certain amount and stay at that level for a sustained period to really be beneficial to you. So heart rate is a function of exercise. So in all of these scenarios, what did you notice? There was a stimulus that produced a certain desired outcome. So you have an input and an output. We had sales produced an output of profit. We had running allowed you to increase your heart rate. We had restaurant bill dictated how much tip you would spend. So you can see that in all of these examples, you had an input and an output. So that's a natural definition of a function. So when you define function mathematically, you would need to have a word input and output in it. At the end of this section, you should be able to demonstrate understanding of the definition of a function. We will also teach you how to use and interpret function notation and graphs of functions. Given a function, identify input, which is independent variable, and output, which is the dependent variable. So those are our learning objectives. So mathematical definition of a function is that it's a rule that takes numbers as inputs and assigns each input to exactly one number as an output. The output is a function of the input. So again, remember, it takes numbers as inputs, assigns them to exactly one output. So output is a function of the input. The input is called the independent variable. 
which leads to an output or dependent variable. You can see why it's called dependent variable, because it depends on what the input is going to be.